hello everyone you can see the error on the screen no bootable device and insert boot disk and press any key so in this video i will show how to resolve this issue step by step so you face this issue because if you have changed something on your system like boot priority or it has gone something wrong on your windows some hard drive is not detecting properly or the operating system could be damaged or the corrupted so let's start to fix this issue step by step so first of all guys you need to shut down your system forcefully just press the power key for almost 30 seconds and we need to go to the bios basically so you can also control or delete button together and enter into the bios so let me hold the power key for almost 15 seconds so that it gets shut down properly okay once it is shut down properly you can remove the battery as well if you have removable battery and just again turn it on and in my HP laptop the bootable key is escape key as you can see here basically you need to go to the BIOS setup I will press F10 now so this is the F10 key now in here guys we need to go to the system configuration and then go to go to the boot options somehow you need to go to the boot option in any laptop HP, Lenovo, Dell whatever laptop you are using you need to go to the boot options then hit enter so once you hit enter you will see here there are two types of BIOS okay one is the legacy support and the second one is UEFI support UEFI so basically you can change the legacy support if it is enabled so you can basically disable it just hit enter okay it is not letting me to as you can see here I want to disable it hit enter okay hit enter now yes okay now it has been disabled legacy support has been disabled and secure boot is enabled now okay so let me try here with the app 10 Okay, it is asking to enter the startup so let me enter okay still getting the same issue boot device not found please install operating system to your hard drive so I have to go to the second method guys this is not working again I need to go to the BIOS option so let me press control or delete button again I need to go to the app 10 if you have the legacy support disable you can enable that and if you have disabled it you can enable that key boot order and make sure hard drive is showing here but in my case it is not showing here guys you can see so let me try it again enabling that and let me try to ok disable the secure boot let me F10 yes okay it is asking to enter the 4 to double 4 to change the setting so 4 to double 4 and then hit enter mm -hmm. ok 
okay still the same issue i have as you can see let me again go to the bios okay i have reached again to the bios and this time let me try here f9 with set default settings so whatever settings you have you need to load the load defaults and hit enter now press f10 key then save exit let's check let me hit enter okay still same issue you can see here okay as you can see here it is suggesting to the app2 key to system diagnostic so this is a hardware test i need to press f2 key and you go to the hard drive quick check starting if it is starting it means that there is the hard drive it is installed but if you get any kind of errors after that it means that hard drive is not detecting in the bios so let's see here guys after that we need to open the laptop manually once and we need to check the sata cable is connected properly or not then we can reinsert it so as you can see here guys smart check is not available short dst warning is so my hard drive is not showing here guys as you can see here so i need to basically open the laptop and we need to reinsert the ssd so i have taken out it from this okay and let me reinsert it so guys my is this hard drive seems to be bad so i'm inserting it to check it here so guys as you can see here the another hard drive is booting up with this and this is not booting so it's clear now my hard drive is got corrupted and i have to replace the hardware so guys you can also try to reformat it and reinstall the windows on it if you are able to do that if not you have to simply replace the hard drive or the ssd if nothing is working in your system so this is how guys you can troubleshoot the issue so hope this video helps you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching